Okay, now, if you've gotten this far, uh, you have made the uh, cape, then you've turned that cape into a top quilt, and now you're wondering what in the cornbread hell all this stuff about under quilt booster is about. Well, I, first off, I want to give a shout out and credit to, uh, to a user who contacted me on Facebook named Nick Hillebrandt, who uh, gave me this idea. Uh, he wanted to uh, thank me for the uh, underquilt design that, that we did a few weeks ago, and he wanted to let me know that he made a, what he called more of a northern uh, adaptation to that, where he took one of these Costco down quilts, folded it in half, and then sewed it into lengthwise down the length of the uh, underquilt, leaving the ends open so he could slip a pad in if he needed to. Now, I thought that was brilliant. And uh, as I was already working on the design of the top quilt, uh, the wearable top quilt, I said, okay, a few more snaps on this thing, and we can snap it into an underquilt and make, a more, make it more adaptable and make it so that it could get down to 40 degrees. We're going we're gonna to say 40 degrees. It might be a little bit low, or lower than that. You've got uh, three layers of, of down insulation. That's about three inches. Uh, so that's a, that's a good deal of loft, provided you don't suck it up into your, uh, into your hammock. So anyway, well, well, enough of this. Uh, we, all we're going to do is we're going to add a couple more snaps. You're probably tired of hearing the word snaps. But uh, this is how we do that, to snap that into, to use what we've already got, add a couple more snaps, and now we can make it a booster for our underquilt. Here's how we do that. Okay, so right now you probably got snaps coming out of your head and seeing them in your sleep at night. And I do apologize for that. And we've got some more to go, but I'm pretty sure you'll be happy with the result. Now what we've got is we've got this leg out here with all your top quilt snaps installed. Over here you've got a bunch of female snaps. Over here we've got a bunch of male snaps. These snaps have the connector facing up. This is what the connector is facing down. And along this edge, you've got the button side of the ones that you put on for your cape. Okay? Now what we're going to do is, is we're going to fold this. We're going to fold it all the way down until we've got about two and a half inches of the top of this exposed. Okay, now, we've folded it. This is the shiny surface that was exposed at the top before we folded it. We folded it down and now what we have is the uh, snaps that we located, these snaps over here that we located for the cape part are facing up, the connector is facing up. The ones we located to close the foot box of the top quilt, the connector side is facing up, and we are about two and a half inches up from this hem to that hem. Okay, uh, and what we're going to do is, is we're going to fold this over. So we've got enough room to put a snap in through here to connect the snaps that are already there. Okay? So now that we've located that, we're going to pin this all the way across so that we can keep control of it while we're messing with all those snaps. Okay, now just to show you again, we've got all of these panels pinned. That way we can move this around and we don't lose our alignment, okay? They're pinned all the way across. And our next step, I'm going to go in the gear bunker and do this, is just to fold this over and place a snap everywhere you've already got a snap so that we can close this thing. Now the reason why we do that is this is going to be laid in your under quilt in this direction. And it's going to be the booster. 
going to give your under quilt two extra layers of down. And the problem with the sewn through quilt is that you get heat loss where it's sewn through. We discussed that in the, uh, in the under quilt video, the first under quilt video we did. By doing it this way, you've staggered the seams. And when we install it on the under quilt, we'll stagger them again. That way, you won't have any seams between uh, exposed from the outside air to your body. There'll be at least one layer of down between you and a sewn seam going all the way out to the atmosphere. Okay? All right, I'm going to go in, I'm going to put these snaps in, and then we'll come back and finish this thing. Okay, now, what I've done is, is I've located all of these snaps and I've taken the pins out. Okay, can you see that? And I've got this laid down so that the button side of my top quilt snaps are facing up. And what I'm going to do is fold it over first off and we'll look and you'll see that on this side that is the female snap that you installed to make the cape with. What we're going to do is, is we're going to add in two more female snaps. Okay, and as a side benefit, those snaps will be enable you to uh, uh, change the way your cape hangs. Okay, we're going to use these to snap into the under quilt, but it will also be used so that you can change the way your cape hangs. We're going to locate a snap here about an inch from this folded edge, and we're going to locate another one over here from an inch. Uh, about an inch from this folded edge and then one more here in the uh, same general location as this snap is about one inch from the uh, he uh, hem at the side and one inch from this seam okay we're going to do the same at the other end on this side we're going to put female snaps and on this side we're going to put male snaps. Okay, you with me so far? That will be underneath. You're going to open this up and install those snaps with the button side here. Okay, you take it slow, give it some thought, watch the video a couple times so that you can see it. I'm going to go in and I'm going to do that and then we'll come out and install some snaps in our under quilt. Okay, so here I've laid this uh, folded quilt out on top of my under quilt. You can see I've added the snaps on this side of the folded quilt. One of these snaps was a snap that you used for your cape. Now you've got one, two, three, four snaps all of the same kind. All of these are female snaps and the connector is on the side facing them. Now what you want to do is you want to fold it down onto your, or lay it down onto your top quilt and then lay it so that these seams are staggered again so that we don't get any cold air intrusion through these sewn seams. So just a little bit about two and a half inches and what I'm going to do is because I like to have uh, a lot of insulation around my shoulders I'm just going to dedicate this as the head end of my hammock okay and I'm going to come in here I'm going to lay this down probably should pin it and then come in and locate a snap where each one of these is. Okay, here I've got a female snap. I'm going to locate a male snap right there. The device will be Versa on the other end. Are we clear? Let's see how we do that. Be right back. 
Okay, so I'm just going to hold this over, hold it down, then reach around, find out where it hits, poke me a hole. Put in a button side, poke it through. Nail snap on that. And I curl this up a little bit because there's going to be a lot of it in there. You're going in a couple inches. sure everything is centered up there. This is going to be a little bit more difficult to do than the other stuff because of all the material here that you have in the bunch up in there. There we go. Okay, now I just snap that and move on to the next one. And do this all the way around all eight snaps. Okay, well, that's it, except uh, the county uh, set off an alarm and we got another rain event around here. We've been having a lot of rain events. Uh, uh, some severe weather and uh, the little colonel decided she was gonna take over the gear assembly area again and park her car inside. So uh, the only thing I'm gonna mention to you is uh, we're gonna add just a couple more snaps to that along the sides of the uh, of the booster and the underquilt so that we can connect the sides. Right now the, the sides of that thing might be a little droopy, they might uh, flop in, so just add in four more snaps, two on each side, okay, to keep it so that when it goes up like this, it doesn't go like that, okay? That's it. Uh -huh. Keep an eye out in the next uh, in the next couple of weeks. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to build a uh, underquilt protector that should add another couple of degrees to this system, and a winter uh, sock. Okay. See you down the trail.